Today we are learning to think and act like artists. We are making homemade pinwheels today. Our homemade pinwheels will really spin just like the mash produced kind. First, color the square paper. A radial design with lots of color works well. A radial design is the same all the way around a center point, like this example or this example. Try to color all of the white space. Don't do this. Don't scribble. Color neatly and try not to miss any spots. Don't do this. Don't try to draw a picture of something like a house or a dog or a heart because your image will be scrambled up when the pinwheel is assembled. Instead, draw a radial design with lots of color. Don't forget to fill in all of the empty white space. A good way to start a radial design is to draw a circle or a square Color it in and then add more layers until you have filled up the space. Here is how that might look using a square instead of a circle. Let's get started. Start your radial design and fill in all of the white space. Do that now and then stop. Now it's time to assemble the pinwheel. You will need a handle, a brad, and a pair of scissors. First, cut exactly on the dotted lines, like this. Stop cutting when the dotted lines stop. It should look like this when it's done. Do that now and then stop. Each corner has a number, one, two, three, and four. Now, take the brad. Push the brad through corner number one. Here is number one. Push the brad through the number. Like this. Hold on to it. Now, Find corner number two. Here is number two. We're going to push the brad through the number. Now find corner number three. Here is number three. We're going to push the brad through the number. You can see that it's starting to look like a pinwheel and we only have one corner left. Number four. Here is corner number four. We're going to push the brad through number four. Ta da! On the back of your pinwheel, there's a dot. Push the brad through the dot, like this. Your pinwheel handle has a hole at the end. Put the brad through the hole. Then fold the brad open. Like that. When that is done, turn your pinwheel Ten times to loosen it up. When your pinwheel is loosened, you will be able to turn it by blowing air on it or by holding it next to a fan. Keep turning it until it's loose. If you have extra time, you can also decorate the handle and write your name on it. So let's finish up this pinwheel. Have fun, kids!